हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू मोशन इन वन डायमेंशन ओके टिल लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन डिफ्रेंसीशन एंड हाउ टू फाइंड इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलोसिटी इंस्टेंटेनियस एक्सेलरेशन ओके सो टुडे अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज अनदर मैथमेटिकल टूल वी विल बी स्टडी अनदर मैथमेटिकल टूल एंड दिस इज टू फाइंड डिसप्लेसमेंट फ्रॉम वेलासिटी velocity from acceleration or to find average value of velocity from acceleration and displacement so see look we have seen differentiation what is differentiation finding slope finding slope suppose if we get displacement we get at t square plus 2 we found velocity by differentiating this or by different finding the slope of this displacement curve we found velocity okay so this is nothing but 2t and if we need to find acceleration we differentiate velocity or we can do double differentiation of this displacement also so whatever way we do if we differentiate this once we will get 2 if we differentiate this twice we will get 2 so this is about differentiation okay now suppose if we get velocity v is equal to 2t and if we need to find displacement or position then what is the way this is what here integration helps us okay here integration helps us okay now if this is slope what is integration let's see suppose if this is velocity and this is time what is its unit meter per second and this is going to be seconds if i take an area this is the curve velocity time curve velocity time graph if i take this area okay what is area suppose if this is 2 meter per second and if this is 2 seconds area is nothing but length into breadth length is what 2 second breadth is what 2 meter per second so second second if we cancel we will be getting 4 meter what is this this is actually displacement okay area of velocity time graph gives us displacement so this integration is nothing but actually this is area finding area okay clear okay not this down not it down <coughs> suppose if we get a graph if we need to find this area what we will do we have formula okay using the formula to find the triangle we will find if we get another shape like this if it is a triangle or square we will find suppose if we get a curve like this and if we need to find its area if this is y this is x okay what will we do okay what we will do so here look here just i will take thin strips okay if this is okay if this is y1 suppose if i consider this as y1 and if i consider this as this strip this thickness i take as dx very small strip we are taking very small strip okay so if we take very small strip okay this will be like a rectangle if i consider very small strip this dx is very very small then this will be like a rectangle i can take this height as y1 now what is the area small area so i am writing da small area is nothing but length into breadth this is nothing but y1 
dx y1 dx same way i take another area okay so suppose if this is y2 and this is dx then if this is da1 then da2 is nothing but y2 dx likewise i can make small small strips i can make small small strips and i can find the area so to find the area what we need to do we need to do da1 plus da2 likewise i need to add up to da n full or i can write or we will when we, if we substitute this is like a y1 dx plus y2 dx plus likewise yn dx if we sum it n is equal to 1 to how much just like we can write n okay and this is yn dx okay so this is summation what is this actually summation okay summation to, to find the area of this curve we have taken small 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 strips and we found the area of that small small strips and we are adding okay clear till this now when we add actually we are losing a small portion here small portion we are missing here okay because we consider them as triangle so that small portion also we need to take care otherwise it will after adding so much we will be losing some area so some really great mathematicians okay they have independently developed not single person okay more than one peop one person many people when they were doing their research when they are doing their scientific studies they needed an application to do the mathematical calculations and they developed this okay so addressing that missed part also addressing that missed part also instead of taking summation we have taken integration so instead of summation we have taken this this is nothing but integration okay integration clear integration so if we integrate if we get a function just like y1 y2 y3 if we are getting a function x square dx okay what how to solve this okay this is what okay so first formula is first formula the first basic formula is suppose x raised to integral x raised to n dx what we need to do is x raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 this is the basic fundamental formula okay for a algebra or for a polynomial if we get x raised to n x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 just like d by dx of x raised to 1 differentiation what we did n we will write here n x raised to n minus 1 so instead of that in integration x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 this is the basic formula note down So integration, we are finding area. So suppose, suppose if this is the area which we need to find. If this is two seconds to three seconds. Okay. Suppose if we try to find x dx. Okay. Suppose this is like a curve is given okay if we need to find here we know we know the formula so we can find but say for example i am putting x dx if we need to if this is t dt this is t okay 
this is the function okay so x dt if we put 2 to 3 this integration formula will find me the area from 2 to 3 2 to 3 so likewise i can put the limit also from which area to or from which instant to which instant i should find the area uh, area when we find area we may be getting displacement also sometimes we will be getting velocity likewise this can vary so uh, just i was giving an introduction now we will get into it, its details integration is divided into two types i have given you limits also so with the limits also there are for, there is a form without putting the limit also there is a form okay so integration okay indefinite integral indefinite integral this is one type another is definite integral indefinite integral and definite integral i'll give you one example then we will get into the details of it say integration of x raised to n dx when you integrate what we need to do x raised to n plus 1 divide by n plus 1 and we will be putting a constant also okay so when we do differentiation when we did differentiation we made all the constants zero remember in the differentiation of constant were what zero so here when we integrate we will have to put that constant in something this constant can be anything this can be zero or this can be some value also but whatever we have left there we will add here because integration is opposite of differentiation integration is opposite of differentiation okay why we are adding this c we will understand when we study integration in detail in mathematics that is also there At the same time certain problems in physics when we discuss that time also we will understand for the time being you can take this formula because then you will understand what is this c definite integral is suppose we'll be getting 2 to 3 a limit will be getting x raised to n dx so what we will be doing is x raised to n plus 1 divide by n plus 1 we will do then after that we will substitute the limit for x say for example suppose if this is x square dx integral 2 to 3 then we will be doing n plus 1 by n plus 1 so 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 then we will be putting 2 to 3 so this is nothing but actually x cube by 3 2 to 3 so this is lower limit this is called lower limit this is called upper limit so what we do is we will substitute the upper limit first minus we will substitute the lower limit so if we sub simplify this we will get the answer this is the basic introduction of in integration indefinite integral and definite integral in definite integral we will be careful about the limit we will apply the limit here nothing is there but constant will come why here constant is not coming why here constant is not coming okay see i will show you there suppose if we take an example 2 to 3 x square dx so this is going to be x cube by 3 plus constant we will write but we will put the limit also we need to substitute the limit when you substitute the limit this is going to be 3 cube by 3 plus c minus this also we will substitute 2 cube by 3 plus c so this minus is common for all of them so t 3 cube by 3 plus c minus 2 cube by 3 minus c so this c and this c will get cancelled off finally we will be getting 3 cube by 3 minus 2 cube by 3 same as this answer so anyway constant will get cancelled off so for definite integral 
we need not consider constant okay so you need not worry writing all these things together just for giving you introduction i wrote all this we will get into the details now okay so we will do some examples okay first we will see the indefinite integral okay without putting limits and all we will see indefinite integral example okay take this example x cube okay integration of x cube dx okay pause the screen you solve yourself okay just practice okay what is it okay formula is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus constant so what will come here x raised to n is nothing but 3 here 3 plus 1 divide by 3 plus 1 plus constant so x raised to 4 by 4 plus constant clear or what right we'll see another example integration of x dx what is this integration of x dx what is n here n is nothing but 1 here so this is nothing but x raised to here 1 is there so 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus c so i can write x square by 2 plus c clear another example integration of root x dx integration of root x dx what is the answer solve this so this is nothing but integration of this is nothing but integration of root x is what x raised to 1 by 2 root x is x raised to 1 by 2 1 by root x is x raised to minus 1 by 2 okay so here this is nothing but x raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 divide by 1 by 2 plus 1 so here 1 by 2 is n plus c so x raised to 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 plus c then after that 2 you can put in the numerator whatever you want you can do clear integral x raised to minus 1 dx what is the answer of this so just like a differentiation if we take a minus 1 then if we try to operate what will happen so here if we do x raised to n is actually minus 1 here so here minus 1 plus 1 divide by minus 1 plus 1 plus c if we do we will be getting x raised to 0 by 0 this is not defined this is not defined we cannot do like this so in algebra this can be done okay this can be done integration of x raised to n is this formula is correct except for n is equal to minus 1 except for that everywhere that is correct so if we get this actually what how we should differentiate x raised to minus 1 is nothing but 1 by x dx what was d by dx of log x what was d by dx of log x if you remember this was 1 by x so integration is opposite of differentiation so integration of 1 by x dx is nothing but log x plus c okay so this formula you can consider as separate second formula if this is first formula the other ones were examples integration of 1 by x dx is nothing but log x plus c not it down <coughs> clear clear okay understood so shall we do some examples on definite integral also just by putting limits okay uh, 
सपोज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ लाइक एन वन टू एन टू एक्स रेस टू एन डी एक्स इज नथिंग बट एक्स रेस टू एन प्लस वन डिवाइड बाई एन प्लस वन एन वन टू एन टू सो वॉट वी विल बी डूइंग वी विल बी सब्सटीट्यूटिंग फॉर एक्स ओके सो बेटर दैन टेकिंग एन वन एंड एन टू वी विल टेक सम लिमिट वन टू टू ओके एंड वी विल टेक द एग्जाम्पल इट सेल्फ ओके जस्ट वी विल टेक द एग्जाम्पल दैट विल बी बेटर सो हियर इट इज टू प्लस वन अगेन टू प्लस वन दिस इज वॉट वन टू टू सो दिस इज एक्स क्यूब बाई थ्री पुटिंग द लिमिट वन टू टू सो फर्स्ट वी विल सब्सटीट्यूट दि अपर लिमिट अपर लिमिट वी विल सब्सटीट्यूट इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स सो टू क्यूब डिवाइड बाई थ्री माइनस लोअर लिमिट वन क्यूब डिवाइड बाई थ्री सो दिस इज द एंसर क्लियर ओके सो दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल अनदर एग्जाम्पल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स जीरो टू थ्री वॉट इज द एंसर ऑफ दिस ओके इंटीग्रेशन एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स जीरो टू थ्री सो डायरेक्टली आई एम राइटिंग एक्स क्यूब बाई थ्री पुटिंग द लिमिट जीरो टू थ्री सो दिस इज नथिंग अट थ्री क्यूब बाई थ्री माइनस जीरो सो थ्री क्यूब इज ट्वेंटी सेवन बाई थ्री वन इफ यू कैंसल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी स्क्वायर द एंसर इज नाइन ओके एरिया ऑफ दिस कर्व इज नथिंग बट नाइन क्लियर और वॉट Take another example. Integration of zero to five, one by x, one by x dx. What is the answer of this? I told you already, we should not meet one by x in a conventional way like this formula. Integral of one by x is nothing but log x. Constant is there if it is indefinite integral. So here, what we will do? this is going to be log x we need to put the limit 0 to 5 so this is nothing but log 5 minus log 0 okay now we will put another limit Th let this be 2 okay so 2 so this is going to be 2 so what log 5 divided by log 5 by divided by 2 is nothing but log 5 minus log 2 clear or what okay so this integration is an ocean okay very big chapter just like uh, integrals and application of integrals will give a lot of questions for je so it's a very big ocean lot of content is there so we cannot study full differentiation just like in this lecture we will study just whatever we require for mathematics okay remaining all how this comes and all the different types of integration different different methods are there all these things we don't require those who are studying mathematics they will study this okay in their plus 2 okay second year topics now general integration formulas are there if you get one function just like a differentiation differentiation of sin x is cos x likewise different formulas are there that formulas we need to learn and whenever it comes we will have to apply so two basic formulas we have seen now we will see another one one formulas say for example integration of e raised to x dx this is nothing but e raised to x itself e raised to x plus c likewise integration of dx integration of dx is what this is actually integration of x raised to 0 dx actually what is there actually 1 is there 1 dx this is actually 1 dx so we can take like this so we can take like x raised to 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 plus c 
so what is the answer this is nothing but x plus c so integration of just dx is nothing but x x okay then integration of 2x square dx so this is an example okay this is an example how we will solve them okay this is nothing but keep two there as such okay this also can be taken as a separate rule no worries keep the two as such keep the integration inside because x is the variable here so x square dx likewise after that we will be able to do normally 2x cube by 3 plus c this is how take another example integration of 5 x dx take 5 outside integration of x dx again keep 5 x square by 2 plus c this is how we need to do okay hope you are getting enough practice and examples clear or what another suppose if we get 3 dx integration of dx we saw simply x so same way keep the 3 outside integration of dx so this is nothing but 3x plus c 3x plus c do enough practice so that we will be comfortable while we get problems okay so now we will study uh, different formulas of integration okay like a sine trigonometric different different formulas are there we will study one by one so formula number just number six because i think we have seen till five integration of sine x dx this is nothing but minus cos x dx sorry no dx minus cos x plus c you remember d by dx of cos x was minus sin x so that is why the reversal integration is the opposite of integration so the integration of sin x gives us minus cos x plus c then integration of cos x dx this is nothing but sin x plus c remember d by dx of sin x gave cos x okay so everywhere we cannot take like this we cannot take like this that comfortably certain places this will be giving us comfortable results now we will see another equations like uh, integral of tan x dx is equal to log minus log cos x plus c integration of tan x dx is minus log cos x plus c how this formula comes all these derivations are in plus 2 mathematics we just need only formulas now in physics integration of cortex dx is nothing but log sin x plus c okay not down so sin cos tan cot now we will see c can cos also now integration of c x dx is nothing but log c x plus tan x plus c okay integration of c x plus tan x plus c same way we can have cosec also integration of cosec x dx is nothing but log minus log cosec x plus cortex plus c okay note it down now certain formulas we got in differentiation so that those formulas also we will write just like 
इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ सी स्क्वायर एक्स डी एक्स इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ सी स्क्वायर एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन एक्स प्लस सी हाउ दिस फॉर्मूला केम सी ऑलरेडी डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ टेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू सी स्क्वायर एक्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव गॉट दिस सो दिस इज द रिवर्सल ऑफ दिस इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ सी स्क्वायर एक्स विल गिव अस टेन एक्स सेम वे इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ कॉसिक स्क्वायर एक्स डी एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस कॉट एक्स प्लस सी सो दिस वॉज लाइक डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ कॉट एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस कॉसिक स्क्वायर एक्स वी ऑलरेडी गॉट दैट इज हाउ वी गॉट दिस फॉर्मुलास क्लियर और वॉट then do you remember d by dx of sec x was sec x tan x so same way here also if we do integration of sec x tan x dx will be equal to sec x plus c sec x plus c so integration of sec x was what sec x and sec x tan x so from here we will be able to get this remember okay so integration of sec x tan x will give us sec x plus c same way here if we integrate cosec x cortex dx is nothing but minus cosec x plus c d by dx of cosec x was minus cosec x cortex okay so like with lot of differentiation formulas are there uh, whatever just required we are writing and i can say like all of them are not that required uh, when we do max uh, physics okay so just these are the formulas which we have already studied in differentiation so if we see all this that will be comfortable so not down now we'll see algebra of integration just like if we get some functions added how we will do okay algebra of integration so right away we will take examples and we will do like that say for example one example y is equal to x square plus 1 by x so how to integrate this integral of y okay just what will this is the function now suppose what is integration of x square plus 1 by x dx how to do this so first you what we will do integration of x square dx first we will integrate this then plus integration of 1 by x dx take this integration inside and proceed so this is nothing but x cube by 3 plus this is nothing but log x plus c this is the answer was that's it will take another example this is nothing but y is equal to e raised to x plus sin x e raised to x plus sin x how to solve okay take root x also okay how to do this okay so integration of e raised to x plus sin x plus root x this is the sum of functions are given now how to integrate this what is integration of e raised to x integration of e raised to x is e raised to x itself okay e raised to x what is the integration of sin x this is minus 
cos x but is the integration of root x root x is 1 by 2 so, so this is nothing but x raised to 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 and for everything putting together add a constant okay so this is how if we get addition addition of functions if we get we will be able to do like this <coughs> suppose if we get product of some functions okay just like uv in differentiation we get u d by dx of u v what we did we maintain u as such we differentiate v plus we maintain v as such we differentiate u this is how we did uv method so in differentiation if we get product of two functions integrating u v like that if we get what how we should do so for that this is also called integration by parts integration by parts so this is nothing but keep u as such no need to disturb then integrate v dx minus put integrate differentiate this du by dx then integrate v dx okay then after that for this integration again another dx this is how this is a formula for doing differentiation of multiplication so put a bracket here okay you just maintain as such integrate the second function v dx then minus integrate du by dx then integrate v dx then dx see what is the order which one is u which one is v okay for that there is a rule there is a rule called i late okay i late this is how we should give the preference okay okay so i is inverse so this if i is there that must be the first term this is logarithmic this is algebra this is trigonometry and this one is exponential so based on this rule we can give preference which one is u which one is v so in this order we should give u okay in the same order we can give u if inverse is there that must be u inverse and log is there u must be i log and algebra is there u must be log and v must be algebra likewise we can give preference not it down we will do some examples of this okay so function is integrate x sin x dx x sin s sin x dx so i late x is algebra and sin x is trigonometry so here u is x and v is sin x so what is the formula integral u v dx is nothing but u integration of v dx minus full integral du by dx integral v dx into dx this is the formula now we will do this one is equal to this is u maintain as such integral of sin x dx minus integral of du by dx so this is dx by dx integral of what sin x dx then dx okay so x into what is integration of sin x this is nothing but minus 
cos x <coughs> minus dx by dx is just 1 into integration of sin x dx is again minus cos x already one integration we need to give here this one and this dx is here clear or what this this term is nothing but this one converted into this one so minus x cos x integration of this minus will come out here this will become plus integration of cos x dx is nothing but sin x plus constant bus over so this is an example of uv method okay this is how if we get a, a product okay shall we do one more problem So this is integration of x e raised to x dx integration of x e raised to x dx so which one is u which one is v exponential is at the end last so definitely algebra will be u so what is the formula integral of u v dx is nothing but once again i am writing maintain u as such integrate v with respect to dx minus full integral du by dx again integral v dx then dx okay so this is the formula now let's see here so integral x e raised to x dx is equal to here u is nothing but x write as such integral of v this is u this is v integral of e raised to x dx minus full integral du by dx differentiate this when you differentiate this we will be getting 1 then integral of v dx what is v here e raised to x e raised to x dx okay then dx integration is with respect to dx that is why this dx comes here so x into integration of e raised to x is e raised to x itself into e raised to x minus integral of integration of e raised to x is e raised to x itself so e raised to x and we get this dx we will write here okay so what we get x into e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c this is how we need to integrate okay basic understanding is enough you need not worry doing all this just do some practice you will be comfortable clear okay but then what we will do if we get uh, numerator denominator form okay that we will see not down this one Take another example so that you will be comfortable. One or two are not enough, I feel. Okay, formula, let be let it be here. Integration of u v dx is equal to u integral v dx minus minus integral du by dx to integral v dx into dx this is the formula and i late just to decide which one is u which one is v okay so take the another example integration of log x dx okay integration of log x dx So, you might be remembering in the formulas which we have written, integration of log x didn't come. d by dx of log x is 1 by x. Integration of 1 by x also we have seen that is nothing but log x. But d by dx of log x didn't come. So, here we need to, here we will see how to do. This is done like a 1 into 
log e x dx this is how it is handled so in this case one is algebra one is algebra and log is l second one in this so this is we can take it as one so which one is u which one is v okay so log will be u and one will be v so we will do like this okay so just this is u so we will write u as such log x we will write there then integration of 1 dx minus integration of du by dx so d by dx of log x then into integral of what again 1 dx so this into dx this is how now log x into integration of 1 dx is nothing but x minus d by dx of log x is nothing but 1 by x into integration of this is x here one integral is there <coughs> okay this is d by dx this integral will be here this is x dx okay this is how now this dx is also here this one okay so log x into x minus 1 by x into x dx so this x and x can be cancelled off so what we are going to get is log x x will come here minus of integration of dx will be x plus c so this is what is the integration of log x dx so this formula can be remembered x log x minus x plus c this is what is integration of log x dx okay to the base e correct okay clear so if we get product of two functions this is how we should integrate this is one method lot of methods are there lot of varieties lot of method lot of type of functions so this is an ocean just we are studying something okay see then suppose if we get a function like this integration of sine 2x dx integration of sine 2x dx. we know how to integrate sine x that is nothing but minus cos x if we get a function where this x is multiplied with some numbers if we get like that what we need to do is just integrate this so cos 2x will get minus cos 2x then differentiate this inside term and divide this by that so if we differentiate 2x what we'll get we'll get 2 just divide by 2 and plus c clear or what if we get sin 2x like that just integrate this sign we will be getting cos 2x just write as it then differentiate this term and put it in the denominator this is how we need to solve these kind of questions another example integration of e raised to 4x dx integration of e raised to 4x dx how to do so just do integration of e raised to e raised to x integration of e raised to x is e raised to x itself same way in integration of e raised to 4x we can write like a e raised to 4x then differentiate this term that will be 4 divide by that this is how we need to do clear or what this is another type of integration okay if we get problems like this suppose if we get cos integration of cos x square plus 1 dx so how to do same approach integration of cos is nothing but integration of cos x is sin x so just like that you can write sin x square plus 1 now differentiate this that is nothing but 2x so 2x plus c this is how 
क्लियर टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ साइन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ई रेस टू एक्स डी एक्स हाउ टू डू दिस साइन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ई रेस टू एक्स डी एक्स सो इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ साइन इज नथिंग बट माइनस कॉस राइट दिस आज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ई रेस टू एक्स डिवाइड बाई डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट टू एक्स प्लस ई रेस टू एक्स प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट so this is how if we get these kind of terms how to handle them note down so okay students now there are different different methods like a substitution form okay different different methods are there just uh, whatever we require for physics okay i am just uh, i have told you okay just revise it even the problems which we are going to do in uh, motion in one dimension it will not be tough like this also very simple okay so uh, you, uh, those who are Uh, studying plus two, okay, and those who have completed plus two, for them integration should be comfortable, okay. Just but for a revision as a revision purpose, what that is required for physics I have taken here, okay. Okay, students, so keep revising it, okay. This is required for our physics, okay. Uh, do some extra questions, practice it, make yourself comfortable with the differentiation and integration, okay. Thank you bye bye good luck